Hello all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandramani Pandey and thank you very much for watching my other videos. In the last video, we talked about how to create an LOB application in Intune using a PowerShell script. In this video, I will show you how to create an Win32 MSI application in Intune using PowerShell. For the demo purpose, I will be using two applications. Google Chrome and Microsoft Deployment Toolkit but you can create any application as per your requirement. I will also assign the application to one of my test machine as an available assignment and then install it via company portal to ensure that the process works as expected. Additionally, the script will generate detailed verbose logging for troubleshooting purpose. So, let's see how we can create a Win32 MSI application using PowerShell script. But before that, if you are enjoying the content, please subscribe for more and let me know in the comment if this script works for you as well. So to create a Win32 application using PowerShell script, we have to create a folder structure and let me show the folder structure. So for that, I have already created a folder structure in my C drive and I have created a folder structure in the temp folder so if you click on that I have created a folder called win32 application and within that we have created some more folders the very first folder is az copy where I have stored the az copy file.exe and then we have to create a folder structure for your application like I am using google chrome and mdt for the demo purpose but you can create any folder structure as per your requirement so within Google Chrome, I have created three more folders. One is the app logo folder, other one is the app output file, and the third one is app setup file. In the app setup file, I have already downloaded the Google MSI application. In the app output file, we will get the Intune Win file, and in the app logo file, we already have the Google Chrome logo. Same thing I have already done for the MDT application app setup file where we have the MDT application in the app uh, output file we will save the Intune Win file and in the app logo folder we have the MDT logo file and I have also downloaded the Intune Win app utility and save in the Intune Win app utility folder and then we have to start creating an application for that we have to download the PowerShell script I have already downloaded the PowerShell script and stored in my download folder. So let me open the PowerShell.isc, load the script, and then within the script, we have to update the user input section. And within user input section, the very first thing is to update the input file, then the installer file, then output file. So for the demo purpose, I'm going to use the Google Chrome. So, in my case, the Google Chrome is in this folder and this is a set of files. So, you will have to copy this path and update the input path. Then we have to provide the installer path. I have already updated the installer part Google Chrome standalone enterprise 64.msi and you can also copy this from here and update it with extension. And third one is the output path. So we have to update the output path. So my output path is this. So let me copy this. Select all. Copy. And then we have to update the output path. Then we have to update the image path logo. So my image path for Google Chrome is this. Let me do a copy as path and then update this then we have to update the Intune Win utility application path so in my case this is stored in Intune Win app utility click on right click on the application and then click on copy as path and then update this and then we have to provide the AZ copy path. So in my case, the AZ copy path is under this. Let me copy this as path. And update this file. Then we have to provide the AZ log path. 
so i want to create a log file under this folder so i'm okay with that and then you have to provide the group object id on which you want to deploy this application so let me open the intune portal and if you go to the groups so i already created a group called win32 app testing group and in this i have already added the two machines for testing purpose and in the property we have to copy the object id of this group and then in the script we just need to update the object id and then we have to provide the install mode so i want to make this application available in the company portal that's why i have mentioned that available but you can use the required or uninstall mode that's all you have to update in the user input section so once that is done you have to select the script and click on run or it is going to execute the script and if it's going to install the required modules like in my case in my machine the exograph authentication module is not installed so it's going to install the authentication module And now we have to provide the account who has a right permission to create an application in Intune. So let me use another account. Now started creating the application. We can see that the application ID is now created in Intune portal. And this is the GUID of that application. And now it started uploading the application in the Intune portal. Now application uploaded successfully in Intune portal. And now it's started committing the file. Now the file also com committed successfully and application logo is also updated. We can see that the Google Chrome application is also assigned successfully and it is also removing the temporary files. Now if you go to the Intune portal and go to the applications and go to the Windows application. Now we can see that the Google Chrome application is now created in the Intune portal and if you click on that application, we can see that all the details are now populated including the logo as well as the publisher, developer, owner, notes, as well as the install command line and uninstall command line. We can also see the requirements detection logic populated correctly. And in last, we can also see that the application is now assigned as an available on the Win32 app testing group. So this is how you can create Win32 MSI application using PowerShell in Intune. Let me do one more application and then we will test this application. So again, we have to go to the user input section and this time I am going to update MDT application. So the very first thing we have to update the app setup file. Let me copy the path and update the app data file input path then the installer file so this is the installer file let me click on there rename copy and then we have to update this installer file with extension then we have to update the output path so this is my output path let me copy this and then paste it in the output path. Then we have to update the image path logo. Let me again go back and this is the logo. Right click on this and copy as path. And then we have to update the logo. Then the Intune Win installer path and the tool path is that copy location is still same so we don't want to change anything and 
I also don't want to change the group ID and then install mode. I also I want to keep it as available. That's all we have to update in the user input section. And again, we have to select all the script and then click on run. Now it is creating an application. Now we can see that the MDT application is now created in the Intune portal and this is the GUID. Now it's started uploading the application in the Intune portal. And now it started committing the file. And, and now we can see that the application successfully created in the Intune portal. And if we go to the Intune portal and go to the Windows application, refresh the screen. Now we can see that we have another application called Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. And uh, we can also see the properties automatically populated. We have the logo. We have the install command line. We have the uninstall command line with verbose logging. And then you can also see all the information like detection logic based on the MSI code. And this application is also assigned to the Win32 app testing group. This is how you can create any application in Intune in PowerShell script. So let me just open the company portal. We can see that the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit and the Google Chrome application is available for installation purpose. So let me click on the Google Chrome and click on install. And now we can see that the Google Chrome application successfully installed. Let me install the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit application as well. Let me click on install. And now we can see that the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit application is also installed. And if we open the app which.cpl, we can see that the Google Chrome and MDT application is all successfully on this device. And let me show you the verbose logs. So we have to go to the C drive. We have to go to the Windows folder and within and within Windows folder we have to go to the logs folder. And within logs folder we can see that we have the verbose logs for Google Chrome and MDT. And if you go down, you can see that the application is returning with exit code 0, meaning that successfully installed. Same thing we can check for the MDT as well. So that's all I want to show you how we can create Win32 MSI application in Intune using PowerShell script. I hope this is an informative video for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.